Tide, the programming guy. Bill Tide, the programming guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Tide, the programming guy. Programming rules. Bill, 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 Bill Tide, the programming guy. Inheritance is a property of Java. Bill, 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 Bill Tide, the programming guy. I'm Bill Ty, the programming guy. <laughs> Today I'm going to teach you about Batch. Batch was first used in Microsoft computers in 1981. <laughs> Batch usually uses DOS commands, or others might call it disk operating systems, but it was first introduced in MS-DOS, which is Microsoft's first operating system. <laughs> Batch files are script files that hold lines of commands. Batch is called Batch because it bundles and packages lines of commands into one single file. <laughs> so batch files are read by a shell program which reads and executes the commands inside the file. <laughs> and these are lines of commands. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our lines of, lines of commands inside our batch file and then as you see over there we have our shell. And so we're going to put this batch file inside the shell and what will come out are cookies, the output. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're gonna wait for the cookies to cook in the oven at 420 degrees Fahrenheit. After baking for 10 minutes, what you do is you take your hand, reach into the oven, and uh, we got cookies, we got chips, ahoys, we got nutter butters. <laughs> I use batch file programs. If a set of files needs to be executed over and over and over, over and over, over and over and over again to perform a routine task, or backing up files, or deleting temporary files, <laughs> then it can be difficult to type the same set of commands over and over and over and over and over again. Anyone who uses Windows can use Batch because it uses very simple commands. <laughs> Simply write DOS commands inside a text editor, like Notepad. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Bill Ty, and today I'm going to teach you a little Batch programming. So variables are strings. So whenever you want to set a variable to something, you put set. In this case, I'm going to use hi underscore lol. <laughs> hi lol equals to one. So notice how between the these, there's no white space. So it's lol equals one, okay? And whenever you want to call this, all you have to do is hashtag percent sign, um, sorry, no hashtag, but percent sign, hi, lol. And this is not case sensitive, so you can do like hi underscore lol, and it'll still work. <laughs> Batch variables are only strings, but arithmetic is possible. There are no integers, floats, chars or characters, longs or shorts. So, whenever you have an environmental variable, like date or time, you would just use percent %date or percent %time, and then you close it with percent. To do arithmetic, all you have to do is, once again, you have to set, like volleyball set. So you set, right, and then you do form slash a, and for this example, I am going to use 7. So 7 equals 3 plus 4. And this is the way to do arithmetic with batch files. Number values used will be saved as a string. Whenever you have arithmetic operation, they must fit within the 32-bit precision range. So this number is negative 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 8, 3, 6, 4, 8, if I believe correctly. All right, and this range is always a positive integer of this value. So 2, 1, 4, 7, all right, 4, 8, 3, 8, 8, 6, 4, 8. <laughs> yeah. So whenever you want to print a statement, you have to use echo. Echo, echo. So to do this, you have to write echo, all right? And in this case, I want to print blah. So I would just do B-R-R-A-T, and the output would give me Alright, so to do this with a variable, you have to set one. So we are going to use set, set of test equals LOL. So to do this, you would you just have to do echo, percent sign, test, percent sign, and the output of this would be LOL. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to do if statements in batch. 
And so in this example, I set p equals to zero, and I'm checking what p equals. And so to do this, you write if not your variable, and if it is false, then it would print out false. But if it's true, which is which it is true in this case, it would echo zero. And so in the output, it would just be zero. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Builds are the programming guy. Builds are the programming guy. Are the programming guy. <laughs>